In this video, we're going to be talking about the Cori cycle. The Cori cycle is a cycle that involves muscles and liver. Now, what happens is that glucose in the muscles, uh, when the muscles start contracting in anaerobiotic uh, conditions, in which they don't have enough oxygen to uh, break down glucose into CO2, and uh, H2O, so into uh, carbon dioxide and water, they uh, break down glucose only throughout glycolysis into pyruvate. So one molecule of glucose brings uh, up to two uh, molecules of pyruvate, and this, as you can see, brings to uh, a net um, gain of two molecules of ATP, which is pretty uh, inefficient considering that the normal breakdown of glucose brings to about 33 or so uh, molecules of ATP when it's uh, broken down into six molecules of CO2 and into water. So what happens is that um, pyruvate inside the muscles is transformed into uh, lactate as you can see in this uh, picture by the lactate dehydrogenase. This enzyme, by the way, takes its name by the reverse um, reaction, but it, it, it can work both ways. So what it does in this case it, is uh, it oxidates, oxidates N, uh, ADH and H plus into NAD plus and transforms pyruvate into lactate with two more hydrogens bond to the second uh, carbon number two. So lactate goes into the bloodstream and reaches the liver in which it's transformed back into pyruvate and throughout the uh, reverse process of glycolysis which is called gluconeogenesis. Just this process is much more uh, expensive in terms of ATP molecules. In fact, it takes six molecules of ATP to form glucose. Unlike um, the amount of ATP this process produced, which was of two ATP molecules. So as you can see, uh, the six ATP molecules are uh, used, but uh, at the expense of the liver. So the liver gives its energy to uh, form glucose which is then freed again um, in the bloodstream to go back to the muscles which can use it for another uh, glycolytic cycle. So um, this happens, this is convenient for the body because the liver has a lot of energy uh, stored within itself as uh, lipids or uh, glucose under the form of glycogen usually which is a macromolecule of glucose. So this is useful when you need a lot of energy, but you don't have enough oxygen for the normal uh, breaking down of glucose in the muscles. And as you can see, the lactate is transformed into pyruvate by the same en enzyme, the lactate dehydrogenase, which in this case uh, reduces NAD plus into NADH plus uh, H plus uh, and transforms lactate into pyruvate which is then um, transformed into glucose in the gluconeogenesis. So here you can see the glycolysis. There are uh, different steps most of which are reversible apart all of them apart from three. The first, the third and the, the last steps which are going to be uh, catalyzed by different enzymes when uh, the process is being uh, done in the reverse direction so in the gluconeogenesis and uh, you can see well the the arrows pointing both ways indicate um, enzymes which can catalyze the reaction in both ways the reason why pyruvate is transformed into lactate is to regenerate um, NAD8, NAD plus uh, from NADH and H plus 
which is formed in um, in the glycolysis by the gl glyceraldehyde phosphate di dehydrogenase. Normally, the oxidation of NADH plus H plus happens thanks to oxygen. In this case, since there is isn't enough oxygen or there isn't oxygen at all, the oxidation of this NADH plus H plus must uh, happen by giving the, the, the two hydrogens to the pyruvate, transforming it into lactate in order to have other NAD+, which are ready for other glycolytic cycles.